Hi guys. So I've got uh, I received very uh, bad news this morning about the Lamborghini. I sent it to a Lamborghini garage after it uh, basically uh, exploded yesterday when I was driving um, and I had a lot of smoke. Um, well, the engine blew up and needs to be completely replaced with a new engine. So that's about the worst case scenario for me because um, that will cost uh, 40,000 euro plus installation that would be 50,000 euro. Um, I see there are also solutions in the market where you can get not Lamborghini but uh, do, uh, another shop will install a, a refurbished engine which is not a new engine um, and they want your old broken engine and they will do that installation everything with for 27,000 euro so half price but still way too much for me um, I'm not gonna spend that kind of money on my Lambo anymore huh? um, uh, I mean I've reached my uh, limit with this, of course. Um, I bought it at 50,000 kilometers, the car, and I was hoping to drive with it another 100,000 kilometers before the engine breaks down. But I only drove 25,000 kilometers with it, and it's finished already. And for the engine to only go 75,000 kilometers, that's really not a lot. Even uh, Lambos that you rent, uh, that are rented out and so abused a lot, um, do 150,000 kilometers. So I'm very surprised this has happened. But I was warned by one Lamborghini shop uh, that I went to by accident a year ago. And, um, and, and and that service guy said he looked at the computer data and my engine had been abused a lot according to him and he was showing the numbers and my engine could blow up anytime he told me I was shocked and at home but but at home I discovered that the the the, the, the printout he was reading it incorrectly he was claiming that the the engine had been raft at eight at the maximum amount of um, RPM eh, so that's 8,000 or 9,000 for 10 hours or 13 hours or something like that eh? and 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 that's absolute abuse but I discovered that he had like misread the hours and seconds and uh, so 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 he was reading the data incorrectly and also I asked for validation from other Lamborghini garages and said no 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 this engine should go another 50,000 kilometers at least as long as you don't abuse it hey, the numbers look okay and also when I bought a Lambo of course I did a full inspection by another Lamborghini garage when I bought it and they were not the seller of the Lambo I saw I bought it from a private person eh? and I chose myself a Lamborghini garage to do a full inspection and they also did a full maintenance and they said the car was good in good condition and um, you know did I abuse the car no yes I push it sometimes hard eh? but I never stay in high rpms I drive up to high rpms sometimes I've pushed it to 8000 rpm yes and only then I gear change and I have missed two times or so that I forgot to gear change and I am at the max and then he automatically goes to the stops going higher or goes to the next gear so I did make two mistakes that once but I never and also I let other people drive and that happened also with one person eh, by accident okay but these are normal mistakes it's not abuse I never uh, push the engine when it's cold eh? um, I always keep an eye on have kept an eye on the oil levels I did, I spent so much money to make sure everything was done correctly eh? and still the engine blows up. Eh? So I bought the car at 70,000 euro, but there I made a mistake. 
I thought it was a great deal. It was the cheapest Lambo available. The cheapest uh, yellow Gallardo Spider. That's what I wanted. And there were a couple of, uh, for sale in the 70,000 euro range. Uh, this was 73, that was the cheapest one. And um, I, I negotiated down to 70,000. So that was a great deal. So I thought. <laughs> but since then I, I drove 25,000 kilometers. And so one year and a half ago I bought it. I drove 25,000 kilometers. I spent in total 60,000 euro, of which half is 30,000 kilo. It was just in breakdowns, all kinds of breakdowns without me causing it. It's just air coppen breaking down, um, oil leaks, um, all kinds of stuff. Um, uh, e gear, uh, bank uh, sensors. Um, and and so 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 that was a lot higher, uh, like, like thirty thousand euro extra. I basically spent in in breakdowns, and I only drove twenty five thousand kilometers. That's one euro per kilometer, more than one euro per kilometer. Um, that was a lot already. But now the engine breaking down, and so I have to pay another thirty thousand uh, euro. That's not like. For me, that's the end of the ride. Um, I can't do that because that would be. I have to pay that with Bitcoin, and that's not a good time right now to sell off so much Bitcoin. And um, so that's not going to happen. So I have two choices: I either sell um, the remainder of that Lambo, probably for forty thousand euros, so uh, today, or. I keep it and uh, wait maybe for better times when I do an engine rebuild. Those are the two options for me. So I will think more about what to do. Mm. But yeah, you know, overall, I basically paid 70,000 for the car, but I can only sell it now for 40,000 or so. That's a 30,000 cost. I paid another 60,000 in all kinds of expenses. So my total cost to drive this car for 25,000 kilometers um, has been um, has been 90,000 euro. Uh, let's uh, that that's 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 my total the total money I lost on this car to drive this amount of kilometers. That's way above what I expected to pay for this. Uh, um, way above. Uh, so for me a lamborghini is a very hot car but also someone who costs it's like a, a lady that is very hot but she spends money like crazy and she lets you pay the bills uh, uh, and um, that's just not a good deal you know there are hot women that are also uh, money conscious <laughs> and, uh, and and Lamborghini does not uh, qualify eh? so 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 for me uh, right now it has been a big learning lesson that um, well what if it looks good too good to be true it likely is and this has been the case for this Lamborghini for me um, it looked like a, an amazing deal, but it has been the worst deal one can have. Um, for example, I took a, 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 a full coverage insurance race recently, but that only would uh, pay me if the car uh, uh, gets stolen or, or catches fire. Then I get my money back, but not when the engine breaks down. There is no insurance for just breakdowns for 10 year old cars so you can't insure against that so yeah it's just um, I don't know I, I've read stories of people that have I think I'm also having bad luck you know they call that um, you know uh, buying a, um, a car that always breaks down uh, it has a special name but uh yeah I, 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 I forgot the name but yeah i bought such a car and um that's always the case when you buy second hand cars that um you're never sure 
Um, that's why, well, buying new uh, can have um, make sense because you always have, well, even with Lamborghini, you have, um, I think the first two years or three years, you have a, a guarantee against uh, breakdowns like this. Um, um, but yeah, if you buy new, you can be sure that it's not um, abused. Or, um, and that's why also in the second hand market, people really value highly to buy from a first hand hand owner um, with full records. Eh? Um, I didn't value that. And so uh, I just thought it was enough to have a, a full inspection by a Lamborghini garage that would give me enough um, trust to buy a car. But well, for me, it's proven now that's not enough. Uh, it's very wise to. Um, to really um, make sure because my car was owned by several people um, three four owners before and actually it was an American American car and it had been imported to Europe eh? it was produced in 2006 had driven in America for a couple of years and then in 2010 or so it was imported in Europe but it was still an American car uh, by some German guy and uh, yeah um, and I could buy it quite cheaply, considering all the options that were on it. Uh, but yeah, those are my results. And they aren't pretty. So, yeah. It's it's a real bummer. Um, 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 I'm sad. And um, I'm happy also that uh, I didn't get harmed, because... Imagine uh, that engine blew up when I was driving 250. Um, there was a lot of smoke even when we were driving 60 or 100. Imagine at 250, uh, he could have catched on fire. Maybe some more explosions, maybe we could have been harmed. Huh? Um, so I think that's a dangerous situation also. I, I, I was aware, like if you drive it just supercars, you 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 need the the highest grade fuel. But this is also flammable. Uh, in contrast to diesel eh, or electrical cars, they don't. That's not flammable. Even when you have an explosion, it won't it won't catch fire. It needs much higher temperatures. But with this high grade fuel, uh, uh, that will uh, catch fire, and 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 that's a dangerous situation. So. I have a lot of thinking to do uh, for my future, but if I can uh, ever afford a supercar again, I will be much more open to uh, the more hybrid solutions or electrical uh, supercars that is the future and um, probably will um, value um, durability also um, higher. I don't know. Maybe I'm just unlucky, but I think that is well. If with women, it's possible to have hot women and beautiful women that are also like durable and and, and don't blow money uh, and don't have issues every second day. Uh, so why shouldn't this be possible with cars? Eh? People often then refer to Toyota, for example. But for me, Toyota, eh, the supercar they have, I don't have that like, wow, that's a very beautiful car. I only have it with, um, for example, Lamborghini. I only seem to have that with cars that have a lot of issues. So, so I have a lot of uh, learning to do. Actually, yeah, uh, to find supercars that are hot, but also um, that don't have uh, issues all the time. Because, yeah, uh, voila, so that was the update to your European Lambo Tour is coming to an end very quickly and uh, it's a pity, but um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll try to learn a lot from it. Thanks for watching and uh, bye.